equal balance magnesium plus oxygen yields magnesium oxide. Don't look directly at the line. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. I told you not to look directly at the line. I don't look at it. Yeah, I know you did. Don't look directly at the line again. That's no, great. So what is the, what kind of reaction is it? This gray stuff on the lab counter. Okay. First problem, you have to balance the diatomic oxygen to the magnesium oxide. So you double the magnesium oxide. That doubles your magnesium. That balances your equation. You have the same atoms on each side. It's a combustion reaction. Remember, once the formulas are balanced, you cannot change the subscripts to suit your balancing the equation. You have to add coefficients, those numbers in front of the formulas, to balance the equation. Here's a tough one. Isopropyl alcohol and oxygen yields carbon dioxide and water. Okay, you got your splint. You got your splint. You got your water bottle with alcohol in it. Holy oh, crap! We won't go step by step here, but note the odd number of oxygens and the even number of hydrogens. In that case, you've got to even out both before you can balance the equation. Remember, the yields arrow should be treated like an equal sign. The number of atoms have to be the same on both sides of the equation. Here we'll look at the formation of rust or iron 3 oxide. With the equation you'll notice that the oxygens are odd and even so you've got to even them up double the iron 3 oxide. That leads you to need three O2s and finally four irons to balance the equation. You're putting two things together it's a combination reaction. Let's look at sodium and water yielding sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Okay. I've got an old scalpel if anybody needs any of minor surgery. We can arrange that. How big a piece should we use? A big one. Huge. Cool enough so have to Cut out that little piece and use the rest. Yeah. Right there, that whole other side. Man, use the whole big part. <laughs> See, it's a uh, silvery. This is sodium. Yeah, this is sodium. It's a silvery metal. It's very shiny when you cut it. It's kind of oxidized. Let's get it in here. Okay. 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 this reaction, it's beneficial to think of water, H2O, as HOH. This gives you a hydrogen and a hydroxide. So even up the hydrogens, leaving the hydroxides to be evened up with the sodium hydroxide, and finally the sodium metal. This balances your equation, and it's a single replacement reaction. A little more complex, lead to nitrate plus potassium iodide, yielding lead to iodide and potassium nitrate. No, the choices you have is potassium iodide. So you get a nice yellow precipitate that's a solid. Okay. One of the products is lead to iodide, and that's what this. That's what this yellow solid is, it's a lead to iodide. Here's an example of how you've really got to keep the formulas balanced to balance your equation. 
I would even up the nitrates first and that would lead to having to even up the potassiums. Remember to keep those polyatomic ions like nitrates as a unit. Don't split them up. That's a double replacement reaction. Let's break down hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and water. Give a little bit of water. This is the hydrogen peroxide. I've got hydrogen peroxide. Grandmother's hydrogen peroxide. We got it souped up a little bit. But it basically is a clear aqueous solution. And you know, they, why do they put it in the brown bottle? Because they want it. So they don't make it up for alcohol? Well, that's a good idea. What do you say? Because the light doesn't get to it. Yeah, so the light doesn't get to it because hydrogen peroxide will react basically on its own and over time turn into oxygen and water. So if grandma leaves the hydrogen peroxide bottle on the windowsill long enough, it would just turn into hydrogen, you know, rather into oxygen and water. Uh, but it's really boring because you can see it just kind of sits there. Okay? So uh, what we're going to use is a catalyst to speed the reaction up. Now, what does a what does a catalyst do? What's it supposed to do? Yeah, it speeds it up. It doesn't necessarily heat it up or anything, but what it does in this case, manganese dioxide, which is a black powder, uh, lowers the threshold, lowers the activation energy that's needed for the reaction to take place. So uh, it's sitting here letting off a little bit of, you know, a tiny bit of oxygen, but certainly it's going to take a lot longer than we want. So if we want some, if we want to get the reaction going, we've got to uh, jazz it up with some hydrogen peroxide. So you can see it starts bubbling, trying to balloon. Just like watching grass grow, isn't it? We have a lift off. Here, notice there's an odd number of oxygens on the right hand side of the equation. So we're going to double the H2O, which will lead to doubling the hydrogen peroxide. And that balances the equation. Decomposition reaction. And don't try this at home. Yeah.